Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again. Free your body and your mind. <laughs> Listen guys, today we have challenge number five. So challenge number five was basically to create a phone book or just a, a, a place to store your contacts information. Okay. So they needed to use regular HTML, CSS to set up the stylings and at the same time use JavaScript to make it interactive. So the first person that we have here is called William Silbert and this is what he has. Okay. So let's get started. I'm going to put Joe Santos, uh, let's say 718-219-8652. Uh, let's see, uh, 34 Grand Ave. Let's say Ridgewood. Let's say New York. Let's say 11385. And let's click Submit. Okay, cool. This is what we got so far. Looks nice. I like the idea of showing the, the contacts here on the side. Now, let me see what you guys have. Who's next? Uh, Diego Manjaris. So, here's his page contact a little pop-up a little moto uh, let me see something hold on it's a little bit big okay so it's supposed to be like that all right so let's say joe santos uh say 718 219 and 652 let's say joe santos garcia okay save and there you go there's the contacts okay you could edit it all right that's cool you could delete it nice so i like what he got to let's see who else is next now we have nathan goodfellow so nathan this is what nathan created we got joe santos garcia joe santos garcia at gmail 2434 grand avenue uh, okay let's see click there add another one let me just see how it looks. Okay. Huh. Yeah. There's certain things here that I don't know. See, all of this <laughs> logos are nice, but it's a little bit crazy. <laughs> all right. I'm going to come back. I'm going to go over every single one of them and explain the things that I like and the things that I didn't like. And then I'm gonna choose the one that is the winner. So for now, I'm gonna come here, Santos, uh, 718, 219, okay, 34, <laughs> Grand Ave, uh, New York, 11, 7, whatever. Okay, click add, and then it shows up all the way at the bottom. All right this is cool now let's see who else what we got here so let's say joe joe santos garcia at gmail uh, okay this is cool all right cool now let me see who else we have here Santos Garcia. Uh, okay. 718. I don't know. 718, whatever. <laughs> okay. Uh, 42 Schwab. Schwaco Road. New York. 11378. 74. Say 11. Like that. Say Richwood submit okay this is cool all right now we have here from mustafa jazar okay this is cool okay now let's see Okay. 
Okay. So it shows us up right there. All right, this was nice. I like it. Nice and clean. Let's see. Let's fill this up. Okay. Let's say country. Let's say US. Okay, add a contact. All right. Pretty simple. Okay. Now this one is the one that I created for this project too and I actually added it to the polymer course. So all of this is made with polymer. I just kept it simple. You know, I'm gonna say 24 Grand Avenue, category, family, uh, favorites, yes. And that's it. And if you add another one, say James, Dough. No, kept it very simple. So you can come here, have your favorites up here, and then if you want to delete something, you just hover on top of it and just delete it. Pretty simple. Okay, now let's go over what you guys did. Now, what William Silberm has here uh, is pretty cool. Um, I like the user experience as far as like, hey, having the form here and then showing the contacts here. The design itself is it's a little bit weak, I'll be honest, um, but everything seems to work exactly uh, how he wanted it to work, so it's good. Um, let's see. This one is is all right this model you need to make this smaller because all of this fields is like taking the full page you know like you can condense this smaller like this should be like this like maximum 600 pixels like the most this thing is like what the full screen like 1080p <laughs> you know so it's too much um let me see what else uh, this one uh this one was fine like the form is cool this right here i don't know like you should have put the first name on the left and the last name on the right how you did to this one's because this it just doesn't look right having one single thing on top of each other or if not if you wanted to do it just one single uh element per line then you should have just did it like this one which is like full screen and even at that like why if you see this like why is the there's like a padding here they should all be on the same line like you know what i mean like it should be all straight it shouldn't be how it is right now let me see i think are you using something like bootstrap or you putting up yeah you got like a you got a, a, a margin on this margin or padding one of those two let me see Yeah, you got a margin around them. Like, you should have everything aligned uh, straight. Like, it shouldn't be like this. But this is cool, you know. I appreciate the logo for sure. And <laughs> it's nice. Uh, let me see. For contacts app, the picture looks nice. The design looks nice. I like what you did with, you know, when you click on this, the, the names move to the right of the the labels so that's pretty cool the thing that i don't like is that i had to scroll down to see the contact at first i was like i don't even know where the contact was going i was like pressing here and you see it's like it doesn't scroll me down it doesn't show me like hey my contacts are down here for a user the user experience on this is really bad because it's like hey i'm saving the contacts but i don't know where the contacts are at you know it's like you have to find it by scrolling and it's like you should have automatic scroll going down or you should have just put them right here like this would have been nice like the design that you have is nice the contact should have just showed up right here on the side okay um let me see what else yeah who we got here uh this was from low kendra or what 
Uh, this was pretty nice and clean. I like it. I like the the user experience of it too. It's just nice and clean. So I appreciate it. The only thing that I will say is that you're missing some fields. You know, like I told everybody, you got to put in the first name, last name, phone number, email, address, uh, city, state, zip code. So you're pretty much missing a lot of those things there. But as far as the design, this is nice and simple, nice and clean. I like this one. Okay. Now, this one was nice too. Um, only thing that I will say is just the same thing that I told uh, for this guy. I would try to put the contact somewhere here on the side and let it, you know, let it populate this area okay that's the only thing that i would do different but besides that everything is nice nice and clean let's see click edit okay so you click edit you get to uh, repopulate them here so that's cool um let me see what else this one i think to me is the best one from everybody's so mustafa just saw so far i think like this is the cleanest one uh the user experience is good it shows you hey this is the contact you click there the form is beautiful it even have uh, I think validation on it so that's kind of crazy that you took your time to put validation on it um, so it's pretty cool I really appreciate the thing that you come here and put in 718-219-8652 and automatically it takes the, the text and you know it formats it so it's pretty cool definitely a, a very good job you did here man um let me see this one i like the user experience of it the design is a, is a little bit iffy like i like the idea of having the form here and then all of the contacts here only thing that i will say is just that that you know like the the colors are crazy right now <laughs> the colors are crazy this reminds me of like you know 1998 you know internet explorer geo cities like that's what i'm thinking about when i'm looking at this <laughs> this website you could definitely style this a little bit better but let's look at this the placeholders are what the placeholders are white on yellow like you can't do that like you, <laughs> you gotta make the placeholders uh, a different color no I think this the placeholders are actually gray and then <laughs> yeah and you don't have no labels on them like it's better to use a label instead of using the placeholders um, in there like it just doesn't work okay so let me see and yeah and this is what I did this was just something quick at the same time just to teach people how to use polymer um, probably gonna upload this to like a co-pen in case people want to play around with it um, but yeah it's just simple have a contact I was gonna make this into a drop down um, maybe I'll continue in the course and tweak it a little bit more but this is all that I had time to create so yeah uh, and yeah to me personally I think the best one out of everybody is definitely Mustafa uh, it's the best experience that I, I got um, and at the same time it's you know it's, it's legit it's got nice animations it's smooth everything you know flows exactly how it's supposed to and yeah so definitely the, the winner is your boy Mustafa <laughs> alright man listen I appreciate everybody that came in and sent me uh a project and, and actually came in and took the time to create this challenge um, I think all of you guys did really good some of y'all just gotta keep in mind user experience you know and just make it easier for the user to find the contacts I mean those are small little things you know uh, definitely some styles that I will say hey we gotta work on this but besides that all of you guys did very good jobs 
and i really appreciate that you guys taking your time so to do these challenges it's good to practice and at the same time it's good to see what other people are capable of doing you know it's like right now i could watch this and I, if i'm a beginner i'm like damn i'm at the same level with this guy but look at what this other guy could do damn and how long has he been coding he's probably been doing this for another two months that's where i'm gonna get to you get what i'm saying so it's like it's motivation and at the same time it's practice for all of you guys so anyways man it's your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com yo congratulations to mustafa i don't know man i'm thinking of mustafa lion king you know what i mean <laughs> but <laughs> shout out to mustafa man your boy is back and i done did it again make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video make sure you share it on reddit share it wherever you want to share it to the world um and yeah man go to visit to the website man go check out the website codingphase.com we got a lot of cool courses in there guys we got over 600 dollars worth of courses for people who are coming in and just want to learn how to code want to learn all the things that you need to to do to become a, a legit developer and get a job as soon as possible like everything is there man go through the courses man we we got a lot <laughs> we got a lot of damn courses in there man you know 33 courses over 600 dollars of like courses that you could go in there and just really work hard so go ahead man it's your boy Joe back at it again. This video is brought to you by CodingFace.com and all of its members. Make sure you go visit the website. It's the only place where you're going to learn how to become a web developer with real projects. Take it from me. It's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingFace.com. Keep it real. Keep it trill.